Hello, my name is Cliff Rosen. I'm an endocrinologist, a member of the Endocrine Society, and a member of the Endocrine uh, Council. Uh, I want to here today to describe uh, our, our manuscript in uh, very brief details for endocrine reviews. This is osteoblastic uh, metabolism, and in this review article we summarize the state of the art of how the osteoblast in particular, but bone cells in general, use fuels. And we discuss three types of fuels, glucose, um, uh, amino acids, and fatty acids. The primary focus of this uh, review is on the osteoblast, which lays down new bone and is essential for the remodeling process. And in our review paper, we discuss the importance of glucose as a fuel, and as in true of other cells and of cancer cells as well as bone cells, glucose is the primary fuel for utilization uh, for the osteoblast to do its work. But in addition to that, we do describe other fuel sources that may be important. One is amino acids such as glutamine or glutamate and leucine which can also feed into the citric acid cycle to produce uh, energy which is required, that is ATP, for these bone cells to lay down new bone. And we describe um, the uh, importance of fatty acid oxidation in the mitochondria and how that uh, affects uh, uh, bone function. These are all critical uh, uh, elements that have to date only recently been described but are essential for understanding not only what happens in osteoporosis but when we give treatments for osteoporosis that stimulate new bone they must utilize these substrates to make new bone.